Given that the U.S. Embassy issued a public warning earlier this month about extremists planning to carry out attack, and that term extremists usually refers to these fanatical Islamist groups. And ISIS K, which is the one believed to be responsible for this, has long felt that the Russians have bloodily suppressed the Muslims in Syria, in Afghanistan, and, and in the in the uh, Balkans. Caucuses as well. And so, therefore, I think Islamic uh, militants, uh, it's very believable that they were the ones to, to carry out this attack. The fact that they just mowed down individuals and clearly was a, an effort to try to cause havoc and kill as many people as possible. And so, therefore, I do believe that uh, we're hearing at least some initial reports, including from some American officials, that it was ISIS. which is a large group now. It has a number of umbrella groups underneath it uh, that uh, really was from Afghanistan, from Pakistan, in that area. Uh, and it looks as though that this was planned for quite some time because they were able to defeat uh, Russian security services and carry out this attack. Ambassador McFall, uh, this is, it's both shocking and surprising to see this sort of attack happen within Russia. Almost immediately, we heard from an aide uh, from President Zelensky in Ukraine saying, tweeting out, Ukraine certainly has nothing to do with the shooting explosions at Kroka City Hall, Moscow region Russia. It makes no sense whatsoever. A couple weeks ago, the State Department had issued out a warning to all Americans that were going to be in the, the Moscow area to avoid any concert halls or large gatherings of people. Um, and it looks like they were right to warn people that because there's been an attack at Crocus City Hall. Lots of reporting from Russian media suggesting that there could be dozens of casualties inside. Uh, the venue is also on fire, so it is currently burning down right now. Yeah, apparently Russian media is reporting that there's at least 40 people that have lost their lives. And over 100 people have been wounded. Um, that's likely going to increase as more information comes out, especially since the entire building's on fire. Uh, currently, it seems that the reports are saying that the gunmen are barricaded inside of the concert hall with dozens of civilians still inside of it. 
Obviously, being that it's barricaded, it's preventing medical services or the EMTs from showing up in there uh, to do anything.